as we're looking at it, you would think Amor is too far back in yes. third place to do anything. But the way this race has gone and the way Look these four are, are swapping paint on their fairings, anything can happen between now and the chequered flag. Hutch is under lots and lots of pressure here. Look how close we are coming out of the slipstream on the flying kilo, trying to crowd us into the grass, but having none of it. Oh. Side by side, it narrows here, doesn't it, Dave? <laughs> Really oh, is. Oh no, look at Keith Amore! Where, Keith, where did he come from? Keith Amore! Just don't through that gap! Well, Michael Dunlop was the big loser along the flying kilo there, wasn't he? He tried to oh. take Hutchinson, and instead Amore and William Dunlop both came through. Hutchinson dropped back to third, and there is a, well, six more miles of this to go. Flaming thing of me, Jake. Where did Keith Amore find that move? and pull it off. He came out of nowhere and stitched them all up while they were looking at each other. Oh. And now he's got Hachi trying to get it back. William Dillon got a great toe as well there, didn't he? But he's not managed to maintain that momentum. We're looking back at Ian Hutchinson. He knows he's got to get past William Dillon if he's going to win this race. If he stays where he is, he'll probably beat Dunlop, but he won't beat Amore. Amore, though, will be happy to keep William Dunlop behind him as they come out of Deer's Leap. If he can keep him behind him, at the moment he's got a tail gunner, but that tail gunner's aiming at him. Oh, and look at Hutchinson sitting up as well. It's really tight through here, isn't it? Really technical. Out of quarter lands they go. As they all say, it's all technical. Michael in the background there, sizing oh. up these two. Hutchy gets through, though. How it's how like did he a, do that? It's like a 1 2 5 race, isn't it? It is, isn't it? And poor old Bruce Anstey is out. Disappointment again for Bruce and the Taz squad. Cameron Donald didn't start, but it's joy, joy, joy for Keith Amore, or is it? William Dunlop is trying to change that as hard as he can. Well, William Dunlop started this part of the race four tenths of a second behind Keith Amore, so even if he does get past him, he needs to pull away from him as well as they come down to the Lindsay hairpin. What chance is there of him getting half Look a at second Hutchinson. Look at Hutchinson, the speed he's carrying in. He's going the long way around of the hairpin. No. Oh! And the speed he's taking on Amore's line. He's taking Amore's toe, and he did exactly what he had to do. Michael Dunlop's out of it, he's four seconds behind. Forget Michael Dunlop, but William Dunlop could still have a chance, but he's left it too late. Hutchinson behind Keith Amore. The question now is, can he catch him? He's got this run down through Quarry Bend. He's pulled off a couple of overtaking moves oh, here before. William is... comes back at him to change all that. He's not going to do it, is he? No, he's Keith not. Amore, he's Hutchinson goes back now. Maybe it's Hutchinson, this is unbelievable. We're punching the box, this is unreal. Here oh, comes Amore. Come on, Hutchinson's going to back past, but it's going to be Keith Amore who's going to go around and see the chequered flag first. Has he got enough between him and Ian Hutchinson to take yeah. the win? I would say he has, but we'll have to wait for official confirmation. Two tenths of a second is what it is. That is going to be probably the most popular win of the day, although Ian Locker was very popular, Ryan Farquhar was very popular, and this is going to be popular as well. 0.2 of a second between Keith Moore and Ian Hutchinson, William Dunlop half a second further back behind the pair of them.